Hello, hello. This is Monkey Puzzle, and welcome to episode number two now, playing Resident Rise 3. And I just finished recording episode one, still working on leveling up my Tinker's tools because of iguana tweaks, severely limiting them and making me level up. And I just got a little message in chat that the blood moon is rising. <laughs> yes, I did clear the rain. Whoa, whoa, okay. I did clear the rain. I don't feel too bad about that. I'm about to die to a slime. I can't record with rain on. It's my least favorite feature in Minecraft. So there are things spawning on my little island here, even though I have it all lit up. I'm not familiar with uh, blood moons yet, but uh, I know they're bad. <laughs> I know lots of creatures come out for them, and I don't have a bed yet. I can't change it tonight. My piggies are afraid. <laughs> so we're gonna weather it out together, bear it out, try to stay alive. Doesn't seem too bad yet, except for those pink brain slimes. Those are from primitive mobs, I think. So everything's all weirdly colored. Yeah, we gotta get us a bed. Need some wool. So that is coming soon. And I've been starting a little tree farm here. Nothing too excited or exciting, but we're still working on basic resources at this point. Just basic resources. And the leaves instantly despawn, which is awesome. We like that. So, gosh. <laughs> oh, look at that. See, this is why I got on this island. Look if I was out there. Look how many mobs there are. Uh, but I think we're going to be okay. So let's see if we can get back to what I was doing. I was trying to level up my tools. Hopefully, if I get down here, they won't see me. <laughs> we can just uh, close this off, I think. Make sure we're safe. We'll mine out our first blood moon. But everything is bloody moon down here, too. That's weird. Uh, okay. Well, where I left you is that... Uh, let me eat a pork chop here. I think those little golden ones show you your saturation right here. I think that's called apple core. That's pretty neat. Um, but just found this little place. This is all lit up right now, so I'm safe. But I just leveled up my flint pickaxe to the point where it can mine copper now. And it also has haste. So that's great. And wasn't able to do that before. So not only can I mine copper, but I can also mine coal now, which I wasn't even able to mine coal before. And if you didn't watch my last episode, Tinker's, uh, uh, well, Iguana Tweaks for Tinker's basically really nerfs tools. I can't make a stone pickaxe. I couldn't even have made a wood pickaxe. And there was no way to mine stone or anything without making a flint Tinker's pickaxe first. So we're working our way up. And besides being able to do copper and coal now, I can also do aluminum. We're gonna need that to make aluminum brass for the smeltery, because the smeltery is gonna have to be our very next step. We're gonna have to use it to smelt down the copper that I'm getting, and then if I smelt it with the uh, aluminum, then we can make casts, and we'll start being able to make metal tools. And once I have copper, that's gonna lead me to be able to do iron and tin, See, I can't even mine tin right now. I can mine the shards from Thomcraft. So at this point in the game, Wayla is your friend. Let me turn Wayla on. And see, there's a little X next to that. It's not currently harvestable. Is currently harvestable. Not currently, currently harvestable. Is currently harvestable. I was a little confused at first because they both say currently harvestable. But there's a little X and a little check mark. So I can't mine osmium yet. Wayla is correct. And I can't even mine Certus Quartz yet. So we're going to have to work our way up. I'm going to keep mining the things I can mine, if I can tell what they are in this color light. And as soon as my pick is ready to level up, I think next time I'm only going to be able to get a new modifier like Haste or Reinforced. I think the next mining level is going to have to come from me changing out 
the pick head. And you can do that too with Iguana's tweaks. The uh, flint tool doesn't have to stay a flint tool. In fact, this same pickaxe is probably going to be with us for this whole series, unless I lose it, die, or something like that. Uh, otherwise, we'll keep working on it. We can always start new ones. <laughs> As soon as this blood moon passes, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to collect some gravel and sand and clay and get to get it together for a smeltery. So I'll join you then. I think that's the next time you'll see me. If I get a new modifier on this, I'll let you know. I got an emerald on there now. Woohoo! Emeralds for free. So that increased my durability. It didn't change my mining level. Um, I don't think it made it any faster. Oops, that's not the same tool. But yeah, now my flint will last longer. <laughs> All right, see you when I have it together to make a smeltery. So that has got to be a zombie dungeon in here somewhere, especially because of that chicken. <laughs> Every time I come down here, there's a whole bunch of zombies. This is just, uh, that was my stairway. This is where I first hit the caves. And somewhere in here is zombies. I'm a little afraid just because when I break it open, that little baby zombie is going to be able to leap through. I have no idea where it is. Well, some idea, but not exactly. <laughs> Last... <laughs> I guess I'll see the uh, mossy cobble first. And that is, right there, uranium ore from Mine Kim. Uh, okay. Well, I will find this at some point, I'm sure. Oh my god, it sounds like they're just like right next to me. Where are you? Okay, that's gotta be it, right? That's cobble, right? Yep. Hello. All right. Hi, guys. <laughs> How are you doing? Some zombies. What fun. But I'm not... I would rather it was any other spawner than a zombie spawner. Oh, and that's an infernal one, too. Rare... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Rare toasting zombie of recurrence. Evil. I told you some of these mobs were evil. <laughs> Probably just want to light it up and go away. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Let's <me> see. <laughs> I guess uh, well, somebody must be killing somebody in there. Let me try it again. Oh, my pick broke. That's what happened. All right. We can conquer a simple dungeon, right? <laughs> Problem is, it's not simple anymore. And I can't mine through half the blocks here. <laughs> well, what's wrong with you, little guy? I need to get some more light in here. Can I come over here? Is that going to let anybody out? Let's see if I can get that lit up. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad now. Nobody else is infernal anymore. Just doing this with a stone sword. I feel like I'm in a Vex map. <laughs> you guys are banished to down below. All right, let's see what goods we got. We got... Ooh, the Ender. Very nice. Much better sword. Okay, and we got... Ooh, we got some ingots. Maybe some Ender Pearls. Hardcore Ender, Ender Expansion Knowledge Note. Very cool. Uh, okay, Pneumatocraft and that first piece of redstone. That's very cool. We will save that. Light this up a little bit better. Make sure nobody spawns. We got some loot. Cool. All right, you guys. Ah. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I got an Ender. So, yeah, that's a sword from Ender IO. And increased skull and ender pearl drops from Endermen. So, yeah, I've never used it before. And if I empowered it with a vibrant crystal, it would be even better. 
All right, so let's go ahead back up here. I'll meet you up top. I am grout. So let's start that cooking up. Oh, I got some pork chops. Very cool. There was one of the piggies that was way down in the coal mine, so, or the mine, whatever kind of mine this is, everything mine. So I ate them, <laughs> or I'm going to eat them. Uh, but I've been mainly surviving off apples and blueberries. So anyway, while it's daytime, and I got you up here, let's go check out over here in this uh, sunken ship from, uh, from Recurrent Complex. I'll meet you over there. All right, so this is pretty cool. This is pretty good looking sunken ship. Looks like it's rotting or blasted open. And I see right there, that looks like that might be some red wool. That would be coming very handy right now. See if we can get in here somewhere. And see if it's got any loot too, or it might have spawners or something. Uh, but cool, there are all, there's all this wool down here. We're finally going to be able to make a bed and a sleeping bag and pass the nights, which will be very handy. So I will harvest all this wool on my own time <laughs> and come back up. <gasps> Whew. But let's check stuff out. Okay, look, we got a chest over here. Oh, they got water currents pulling me everywhere. All right, some leather. Oh, fishing rod. That's some more food. And a wooden javelin. Fossils and archaeology revival. Okay, that's very cool. And got some wood and some pressure plates. Hopefully, these just uh, trigger the doors. <laughs> but I don't trust them. Anyway, I'll get back to get those later. I actually don't ever really use wooden doors like that because... They only function as zombie attractors, for the most part. So, let me see, that must be the red carpet there. And then, I don't know, did it have some wool in the hold or something? I've still got some torches here, so I should be able to breathe. As long as I have a wall like that, that I can get to. And, let's see, down here, yeah, lots of wool. There's another level down below. Let me get another breath here. And see what we got going on. Oop, stuck on something. Ah. Get a breath. And just look around. Oh, is that a bed? Oh, it's a very funny looking bed. But I'll take it. Very cool. <laughs> we should set our spawn down here. That would be pretty challenging. And I just heard a pressure plate. Uh, hopefully that's nothing that I should be worried about. All right, well, I'm going to keep looking around here, see if I find anything else. Uh, it looks like this might be it. <gasps> oh, I went in another part of the hold here. And it looks like there is a chest. And Ooh, more goodies. All right, fishing rods, gunpowder. like that iron sword. Some books. That's very cool. Ooh. My health goes down really quick. Uh, whenever I run out of air. All right, another sword. More books. I'll grab that. We can put that back now. Excellent. Another breath. Oh, I can do it down here. Woo. <laughs> I need my scuba gear. Where is my helmet of respiration? Or my ring of cordata? Let me see. I checked that one. Yep. That one. Okay, more leather. Very cool. Another breath. This is not easy. And then... All right, leather, book. More of these javelins. I gotta figure out what those are good for. Fishing rod, more javelins, breath, and last one. Okay, lots of javelins. <laughs> I wonder if I can use those as a ranged weapon. That would be pretty cool. So I suspect I've cleaned this place out. Oh, dispensers. 
Oh, this must have acted like cannons on the side. I'll take some dispensers. What the heck? And... Alright, so I'm gonna get some wool. And... I'll see if I see anything else. Oh, there are some chests up here. Alright, let me breathe. And... I need some food. So let me get this down here. And um, before I... Die. So I can heal. In case I run out of air again at some point. And I have upgraded the axe. The axe now has haste. And I got another level of haste as well on my, um, on my pick. So that, both of those are very cool. And it looks like some stairs went down too. All right, plenty of wooden swords. We got a lifetime supply, or not wooden swords, excuse me, of iron swords. See if there's anything... In here, more fishing poles and books. And I was just checking if there's anything in the furnaces. Did I get that one? Nope. Nothing in there. And maybe that's it. Oh, look at this. More chests. And I'm going to have to break the top of these. The wood on top of these to see what's in it. <laughs> okay, gunpowder. Breath. And... Can I open that one? Nope, same story. Neat. So we get to loot somebody else's stuff here. And uh, I should probably grab that gunpowder too. Anyway, I'll finish cleaning up here, and I'll meet you back. I was just swimming back. I noticed how deep this is, and I also noticed there's something down here. Turn whale on so I can see what the heck this is. What are you, a Nautilus? Wow. How cool is that? And, uh, hopefully, I'm not gonna die for looking. <laughs> That's neat. There's things under there. I've always wanted for there to be more life than squids under the water. And in the test world, too, I saw solacanths, or however you pronounce them, those primitive fish. That's very neat. We're gonna need some aquariums later on. All right. And it's nighttime. So now I can do this. Ah, <laughs> finally get a good night's sleep. You can see I keep modifying my tools too. I keep leveling them up by using them. It's so great that you actually get a reward from doing lots of grunt work in the beginning of the game because usually you just break your tools and that's it. But now it's kind of like an achievement system that keeps building on these things. So I like that a lot. I like Iguana Tweaks. All right, time to finish up this smeltery thing because I'm sure this episode has gone on long already. But let's make a stone pickaxe head. Now, note what it says can only be used to make casts, cannot be used to make a tool. So we cannot make a stone uh, pickaxe head to use. Over here, we need lava to run the smeltery. But we can't make, well, forget that, actually, we don't have any iron yet. Um, we can't make iron buckets, right? So you can make an unfired clay bucket and stick it in here and fire that up. And then we're going to have a bucket that we can use to get lava for our smeltery. So let me just grab the first one of those and we'll get things going. Oh, yeah, let me just grab my ores, too. I've got a bunch of aluminum and a bunch of copper. And let me run down here and grab some lava. <laughs> the pigs keep going down here. There was one. Uh, oh, that's the same one. Yeah, he wants to live down here. I don't want you going down further, piggy. I want you to stay up here. <laughs> you can hang out in the smeltery, but stick around. He's a troublemaker. Okay, you stay there. I'm going to go get some lava. I'll be right back. All right, so I got some lava right here. These are single use only, but they're going to do the trick. It's so right after this, we're going to be in the iron business. Okay, so we're good to go here. Let's throw our lava in the tank. And in this little cave where we got the first bunch of ores, 
I put this melter in here, so it's a very simple one. And we're good to go. Actually, I made a little uh, seared glass, too, so we can see what's going on. Hopefully, I don't leave any blood in there yet. <laughs> okay, so in here, take that out. And let's throw in some copper. Not a very big smeltery yet. Some copper. And let's throw in some of this, too. Oh, don't need a ton. And uh, some more copper. And let's see what we get from that. Okay, so stuff is melting. We got some aluminum brass here. We're getting some copper. We throw some more copper in there for good measure while that's all happening. So now down here, let's throw, ooh, scary noises, our stone pickaxe head. And we're going to make our first pickaxe head cast. Notice that that head gets consumed as well uh, when that happens. So let's now put our copper on the bottom and make a copper pickaxe head. So we're moving up through the technological age here. So actually, I'm going to need to go up to the tool station, the tool forge, to do this and get up here. And go ahead, and it's this last one here. And so we can go ahead and throw this up with our fancy tool. And notice, look, I got another modifier. I've got moss. That's awesome. Oh, and this needs to be fully repaired in order to do this. So throw that in there and that. And now, check it out. We can replace our head. And now this is going to be a copper uh, pickaxe. So we're going to need copper to repair it from now on. So I might as well grab... Uh, I thought I had some copper in here. Doot -doot, right there. Excellent. But now notice that the mining level on this is not... Uh, it's not anything but copper like it was before. But we're only 18 away. We're 95.11% from the next level. And that wouldn't have happened until we changed that head out. So all we gotta do is mine out 18 more things. Let's make some more space here behind the smeltery and see what happens. Ding! What happened? We got... We're up to iron now. So now... Where is that iron? We can mine iron! <laughs> and can we mine Certus Quartz? Not yet. But out here... Oh, we got two piggies down here. Uh, we can mine... Fossils! <laughs> Very cool. What did I get? A broken ancient helmet? The bone, uh, there's all kinds of groovy stuff you can get from fossils. But one discovery I made before is you can also mine... Oh, I thought I could mine osmium right away. I guess I can't. <laughs> anyway, I think actually I'm going to need to go up to tin first. Can I mine tin? No, can't mine tin. So, oh yeah, so I'm going to need to smelt down the iron. That's what it is. I almost forgot. Well, I didn't forget, but yeah, for a second there. So let's smelt down some iron real quick. Be right back. Let's grab some lava over here. There's my island. And there are chocobos. <laughs> we'll get into chocobos later. Uh, let's just take a peek at them real quick. Ah, Chocobo. <laughs> Hello. Yellow Chocobo. Whoopoo. Whoopee woo. Look down there. There are soilacanths. Ooh, cool, groovy, rectangular fish. <laughs> That's because they're primitive. Whoa, and lots of nautiluses. <laughs> Piggies on the drain. 
What you doing, piggy? All right, so we got some iron. Excuse me, piggy. Get off my drain. Let's make, oh shoot, that's copper again. All right, I'll just melt that back down, or I'll save it. Let's get our first iron. All right, so with this, we can go ahead and do it again. So let's run back up to the tool station, tool forge, whatever it's called, and do this one more time. So first, uh, this has to be fully repaired. So that's starting to be a crazy looking pickaxe already. All right, and then let's put iron on it. Very cool. So, to, and we're only 21 away from the next mining level. So let me do that real quick. Don't go in there, piggy. Ding! Plus one mining level. Here we go. So now we can mine tin. So <laughs> it's pretty funny. You need iron to mine tin. So that's a go now. And let's see. Can we do Certus Quartz yet? Not yet. But I think Certus Quartz requires an uh, obsidian mining level. Oops. But... We can do osmium ore now. And this is what I was skipping ahead to before. So let me melt down some osmium in here. Get a nice full smeltery already. I'll be right back. And Piggy escaped and made it all the way down to the zombie spawner. <laughs> all right, Piggy. Have it your way. All right, so last thing here. Let's throw an ingot down and get some more uh, aluminum brass. We're gonna make an ingot cast. And, oh, I should have used the seared brick. Oh, well, we lost that. Is so that I can make an iron ingot. And I should have just brought a tool station down here. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, actually, no, yeah, I, okay, let's go ahead and make, pull the osmium down. Used to be you couldn't put osmium in a in a smeltery. <laughs> Hello, piggy. They're all piggy. <laughs> Even though I know you're all individuals. You're all piggy to me. All right, so here we go. Not quite end game, but we can do things now. So watch this. Get our osmium. And first... We got to repair our pickaxe again, which is why I made the iron ingot. So that's fully repaired. And then let's throw this on. Now we have an osmium pickaxe. We've already gone all the way up from flint to this. Excellent. And it's got two levels of redstone, emerald, moss, two modifiers remaining. And look at that mining level. The mining level is already obsidian. And something else is going to happen when I get up to um, 831 there, which I can't point at, <laughs> but I'll tell you right now what's gonna happen is it gets up to Ardite. So we've gone from not being able to mine anything to once I do 31 plus uh, 11, 42 more things, that will be Ardite, I promise you. So that's gonna require then going into the nether once we get Arbite, Ardite, we'll be able to get Cobalt. Once we get Cobalt, we'll have Manulin. And from there, we'll be able to mine anything. <laughs> so with all that done, I think I'm going to eat some cooked octopus. Mmm. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. That didn't give me a whole lot, did it? And let's eat some fish. <laughs> and go to sleep. Good night, everybody. I'll see you in episode three. Thank you for watching episode two, Resonant Rise, uh, with me, Monkey Puzzle. Again, in the description still is stuff you'll need if you want to play the same pack I am or you know, with the same optional mods. 
and if you want the seed and the config so you can make the exact same world as I am playing. All right, see you next time. Bye bye. See? Told you so. All right. Bye bye. Ha, 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 ha.